Hey guys, it's iTouchTech here, and today I'm actually going to be giving you guys a look at uh, two different news readers for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Now, uh, these are probably also compatible with the iPad, and I will be getting into that in just a second. I'm just going to bring down the brightness a little bit so you guys can actually look at the screen. Now, the first one I'm actually going to be showing you guys here is called a Flipboard. Now, this is a really popular news reading application that has been available uh, on the iPad for a while. Now, I know I really, really, really do like like this application and I have been using it for quite a while on my iPad 2 uh, ever since I actually got my iPad 2 this is one of the first applications I actually downloaded now flipboard is basically like this um, well basically flip board uh, in literal terms and it has all these tiles which have um, different fees that you guys can select when you first open it up now I have selected a few I actually uh, for this uh, for the purpose of this video I actually changed it to all but basically I just have um, these over here I actually actually didn't have style. I had uh, design, photography, music. I also did have, uh, have film, autos, uh, and science. I didn't have the rest of them. Uh, and obviously on my front page, I'd have cover stories, news, and technology because those are the basic things that I really need. Now, this application also integrates with your Twitter as well as Facebook, uh, so you guys can get feeds from Facebook and Twitter as well. But what I really focus on all the time is technology and news. So you can actually open up the reader and go through it by flipping through the pages and looking at all the new or the latest technology related stories or anything for that matter that you guys do have selected uh, from whichever tile you guys actually did choose. Now here's a cool one, this is from Engadget. Um, and uh, it's about uh, let's see what it what it's about the Asus Transformer Prime, which is supposed to be the world's uh, first um, quad core tablet. It's a pretty cool article. I actually wouldn't mind reading it myself. I probably will after this video, in fact. But um, it's, uh, Flipboard is really cool because it has this really nice intuitive user interface that does look quite nice, and I really do enjoy using this application. I was completely uh, really delighted when I heard that it was available for the iPhone and iPod Touch and I could actually take it with me everywhere because I'm not a big fan of taking my iPad out in the car or whatever uh, whenever I'm outside because here in India it's uh, pretty easy to get stuff like that stolen but anyway uh, so uh, the next one I want to show you guys here is called Google Currents now, this was really recently released and um, it is a very nice application though I wouldn't say it's as polished as something like Flipboard because that's what they're actually making to do on the other hand Google is actually just trying to expand a lot of its services to different uh, types of things now the newsreader is one of its newer ones so again it does have this interface where you can actually swipe through uh, the different um, uh, sources that you have uh, which uh, you get your feeds from now at the top you do get the uh, the regular trending topics you can actually head over to trending and it shows you guys what's going on or you can get back to your library where you do have a bunch of these different sources that you guys can actually download now I could just scroll to the right and show you guys you can actually hit this little plus button that says add more and go through the different sources that they do have available in their featured section um, so there's a whole bunch such as Forbes and uh, popular science as well as CNET and I have added a lot of these um, I'm probably also going to add Mashable here. So to add it, all you have to do is hit the little blue add button and it will say add it. It will say in library. All you have to do now is head back to your library and you guys can check all the different things you have here. You can actually have it in this or if you hit done, you can actually come back to your regular tile type, uh, type interface. Now if I scroll to the right, it should uh, download and incorporate itself uh, pretty fast. As you guys can see down here, it does say syncing. And uh, now if I scroll to the right, you will see that Mashable is downloading. But this is really easy to use. You can actually go to any uh, feed that you want. For example, All Things D. Now this is again a technology related um, source. It's really cool. And now instead of scrolling vertically, you can actually str uh, scroll horizontally and just choose something that you would like to. For example, Social. And it will actually take you to that feed. Uh, and you can actually just read through it. And you can actually just go to a specific um, title here such as Mystery Solved, Mark Zuckerberg ads blah 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 and actually starts loading it up and you can actually start reading right through it so this is really cool again you can just head back home and uh, that's pretty much it so anyway guys that was my video on these two news readers I really do hope you enjoyed this video
If you did, please do remember to like and comment. And do consider uh, checking out some of my other videos on my channel. I also, if I haven't hit 100 subscribers yet, guys, you can actually head over to my channel and enter the giveaway I have going on right now. Uh, and uh, if it's still on, you guys can probably see a link in the description or an annotation somewhere on screen right now. Again, guys, thank you very much for checking out my video. I really do appreciate you guys uh, checking out my videos and your viewership as well as uh, subscribing to my channel. I'd be really happy if you guys could do so. Again, this is iTouchTech, and thank you very much for checking out this video. Peace.